Hey, what's up guys, Arab here, and welcome back to an episode of my F1 2019 Manager Career Mode here, my sport manager with Renault and Dan Ricardo and Nico Hulkenberg. If you did miss the opening episode of this series, then be sure to go check that one out. It was uploaded yesterday. Uh, episode 2, obviously, uploaded right now, but from now on, maybe the episodes will be a bit, a little bit spread out, but I thought we'd do the first two in quick succession like this, the, the day after the first one went out here. So for round 2 then, Dubai, of course, we can't get the exact realistic calendar, so we've got the nearest thing to it, so we've got Dubai, then you got China, which is the real life round three. Then you've got Portugal, South Africa, which deviates a little bit uh, because we don't have Spain or um, obviously uh, Baku in, in the calendar in the game. Uh, but then we have the kind of more staple ones. You've got Canada, the, the usuals, you know, Great Britain, Germany, Belgium, uh, Italy, Singapore, Russia, Japan, USA, Brazil. And then we end off at Doha in Qatar, which is essentially almost, uh, well, I don't know, because they could have done Dubai for Abu Dhabi, but I guess they wanted to do Doha because it looks a bit more like Yas Marina in a way. Um, this actual circuit. So anyway, round number two, Dubai. Last time out um, was a good episode for us, actually. I think, you know, all things considered, I think we got a good haul of points there and we're well on our way to, you know, making progress. We've got the engine that's on the build. Obviously, that's going to take a fair few uh, weeks, pretty much, 43 days. So we still plow on with the car we have and we made the most of it. But the car we do have is pretty solid. You know, reliability-wise, it's it's not poor. I think we had a little bit of an iffy situation with the front wing and gearbox with Hulkenberg and Ricardo, but it wasn't to the point where they were telling us they were in danger of breaking it. So I think it was all fine, to be honest. So let's take an interview after that race. Uh, first week in charge, how was it? Um... Yeah, I'll tell you it was a wonderful weekend, to be honest. That's all I have to really say. Uh, pit crew review, they were fine. We had no mistakes uh, that weekend. Yeah, no mistakes. The fastest pit stop was 2.7, so that's pretty good. Uh, and Charles Leclerc went on to win the Grand Prix, though. That's uh, Let's see if that's a foreshadow of the Real Life 2019 season, eh? But, um, yeah, I think they're all fine mistake-wise. We're still looking pretty okay, so they're not fatiguing quite yet. Obviously, it's the very start of the season. So, pretty much nothing else to really to do. We can move on, finish the car repair complete from last race and then i'll have quickly have a look then i think we're really improving too many parts yeah no we've already improved everything we can do apart from these uh yeah pretty much those four we don't need to improve these two engines because they are worse off than we've got right now because it's it's you know we're new to it's the it's a new career mode save so i think it takes a bit of time to wind up and get the upgrades actually working as we want so technically if i did improve these to the maximum they're better than the originals right now but the point is i think Actually, wait, you know, there might be some point to improve that, actually. I may as well do that. I may as well improve them. But because we've got the new engine coming anytime soon, eventually these will come. Ob these will become obsolete in themselves as well. And right now they're 30 behind the engine we have, so we can't even use them quite yet until they get to over the uh, 940 barrier. So that might not happen before the second race, to be honest. So that's what my thinking there was. But we've got some emails here about the low speed. What's that about? Uh, a bit concerned about the front wing, that is. Um, our front wing's okay, I think. Uh, we're fifth place. Um, uh, to be honest, we're only behind McLaren. That's the only bad one, but I'm pretty fine with it for now, Nico. I can't lie. Report on Dubai. Obviously, no rain. It's a 40-lap race. It's a very long race. I've got it set on midway distance, and it's a 40-lap race. That is a long, old Grand Prix, to be honest. But, um, we'll have to make the most of it. Obviously, it was quite strategic, actually, at USA, at, uh, not USA, Austra Australia, with the rain. So, uh, there might be a little bit less strategy maybe involved, more just tyre saving in this race with a long race and not too much to do on the strategy. So, we're going to move in then. Obviously, no rain in practice or quality. So, I don't know. Last time, we didn't have enough soft tyres to run. I'm just going to go with a five across the board because I genuinely just don't know what we're going to need, um, in terms of the tyres here. Maybe one less mediums, you know, maybe 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 just one more super soft, but I really don't know what the tire is going to be like. It's a very unknown territory right now compared to my previous career modes on most football manager because, uh, yeah, I just don't know how the cars got tire weight wise. I don't know what these cars are going to be like. So uh, we'll just go in and just take a stab into the dark, to be honest. Right, I'm going to send them out on practice on this soft tire, the middle combiner tire for race trim at the moment, just because I, I want to do the setup first. And then we'll see what's what with the tyres. Uh, it's a bit of a long session, 25 minutes. That should be enough to get some good stuff done. Obviously, with the good feedback from both these guys, it's not much of an issue, I, I want to say. But um, let's first just do this setup, then we'll work on the actual race knowledge. I have a feeling it might be, um, I don't know, to be honest. It's, a, it's the shorter layout, it looks like. Oh, yeah, okay. So it's the shorter layout of Dubai here. I'm used to the layout where it used to go on like this. If you can follow my mouse, and then it would have this entire section here before actually getting into a last corner. So 
This is a very different layout, much shorter layout than I'm used to. So this might actually change things, actually. That's why it's a 40-lap race, then, because it's a shorter layout. Um, that might change things, actually, because uh, then maybe it's a shorter lap. Um, oh, I don't know. May maybe a more aggressive strategy might be uh, might be the way to go around here. The tire wear is going to be a little bit less because you're going a shorter distance every lap. Uh, we'll see. But setup-wise, uh, Ricardo this time is the one who's all okay with two greats and excellent. So you can continue on, my man, for, let's say, eight laps and see how much you can get knowledge on the soft tire. Hulkenberg, not too bad, though. Three goods across the board. So I don't really know where to go with this, to be honest. Where do I tweak this? Potentially a bit more downforce, maybe, that he wants. Um, maybe, I'm hoping. And then maybe, also at the same time, more acceleration. Let's hope. Uh, we'll send him out again. Quick little soft run and bring him in straight away. And we'll see. Probably knowing me and Motorsport Manager, I've gone the wrong way. We need to go for lower downforce. He wants more top end speed. And he doesn't like where the handling's gone. Let's see. It's the moment of truth. Comes in and three great. So we did go in the right direction, actually. we That's kind of weird. We went up one entire section. We went from three goods to three greats. So if I go even more downforce, will that do the same effect? Just a tiny bit this time, though. Just a smidge. Will that affect things in a positive way? I'm going to just take a leap of faith and say yes and send them out on eight laps then. And I'll just sit back, relax, let them do the soft tire and race trim knowledge. And then we'll hopefully have enough time to do super softs and quali mediums, I have a feeling I might just leave. I think I'm going to make the commitment to an aggressive strategy. I'm feeling aggressive in this race. I don't feel like saving tyres with the mediums. Let's go nice and aggressive and commit to that. Right, Nico is in. We've got level three. So I can send him out straight away. We did go the right way then as well. And we can go for quali and super softs. 94% set up. Pretty damn good. What's Rick Bobby on here as he comes through? Let me just check the percentage there. Curious to see what it is. We'll go and qualify and trim three laps. Super soft, 95. Okay, not too bad. Pretty close, pretty close. Right, we'll send them both out again. Three levels on this coming up. It looks like a fair few people are using mediums here, so I definitely might be a unorthodox team going for the more aggressive strategy. But you know what? Let's hope and cross our fingers that it works. Right, coming in with three minutes to go, and we've done all the knowledge we, what I wanted to, basically. So I may as well go out on the medium tires, do a quick little stint on that, get some knowledge. If all fails, maybe we might want to go onto the medium tires at the last minute. I don't know, so... May as well at least get at least level one on the mediums. We can't get any other level because we've already maxed out the quality and race trim. So it's just a medium tar pretty much. But I think we'll get um, level one at least. Yeah, just about level one. We won't even get anywhere near level two because we'll have one minute to go. And we'll just about cross over to level one just about now. There we go. Right. If all of fails, we have level one on mediums if we need to go to it. I don't foresee that though. I think we should be able to pull off. An aggressive strategy with uh, soft tyres. But practice is done. Good practice. So now we move on to qualifying. Crucial to get through the sessions. Super soft and quali. No other knowledge really that we're going to be doing. Because there's no rain here in... Uh, in uh, I forgot where we are. Dubai. Right. Set up time. Let's start quali. Take quali. Let's go. Q1. Going to wait a little bit. And then I'll send them out. Just wait a tad. Try and get a few cars... Oh, wait, it's a short track, though, so that's the only annoyance, that it is a short track, so there's no way to hide. You know what, I'm going to try and get through on these worn tyres, if we can. That would be very cheeky, we get through on these worn tyres. Right, perfect outlap there. So both of them got a good exit. Let's see what the lap time is like. I'm going to be curious to see if these worn tyres are any good. P7, P10, P8, so we're going down the order a little bit, but as long as we make it through into Q2, then I'll be happy with that, so... We're in. McLaren looking pretty slow there. Sainz and Norris this time. Remember, Norris qualified in Q3, remember, last time. So uh, he's way down the order. So McLaren exponentially losing pace, just like in the real-life season after round one. Um, but I think we should be fine, actually, to get through in these worn tyres. I think just about, maybe. Because there is a there's a massive gap of three tenths here to Albon in P15 in the Toro Rosso car. So I think we should be safe, actually. So you know what? I think it's worked out. We've got through in those horrendously worn tyres. Come on, come on. Oh, we're going down the order a little bit. This is getting a little bit close now. Three seconds to go. Checker flag's fallen. Is that it? I think we made it through. P12 and P13. Carlos Sainz did uh, do a good lap time for McLaren. But look at that. Norris, he was P uh, Q3 last time. Now he's P16. What a turn of events there. But for us, looking good. This time, Bottas, fastest of all. Didn't make the same mistake he did in Australia. But we're through in worn tyres, so we have another fresh set to use then, uh, uh, potentially in Q2 and Q3. Alright, Norris, Albon, Giovinazzi, Russell and Kubica out. He's injured, actually, for some reason. He's got a sprained... Ooh, that's a bit... That's a little bit ironic. He's got a sprained wrist. 
in the very... Is it the same exact arm he's got an injury on? I'd be very unshocked if it was. Right, take qualifying. Q2. We need to remember, obviously, the F1 rule that is in this game. I start on the compound I qualify on. So I'm going to send them out on a fresh set first, straight away. And then we'll go... Well, we'll hopefully just make it through on this one set. That'll be uh, very ideal. And then we'll have a few sets to burn in Q3 and the race. Right, Ricardo across the line. Hulkenberg across the line. Hulkenberg is three tenths faster than Ricardo. Decent stuff there for Nico. The man comfortable a bit more with the car. I think it'll take uh, probably maybe half a season for Ricardo to settle in maybe a little bit and get used to the Renault car. But we come in now and we're sitting in P7 in... Ooh, Ricardo's actually out. That is annoying. Right, this might be a bit harder now. Looks like we've lost some pace. Right, going to need to burn another set then. Send him out straight away. Don't dawdle. And for Nico, Nico might be fine, but probably not. Because if Ricardo goes faster, he won't be fine. So let's sow again. Right, Ricardo, he did have a little bit of traffic, but he's overtaken him quick, pretty quickly. So let's see. Green first sector. That's good. Four tenths down. So that'll be good. For nine tenths down. So that'll put him about P5, hopefully. Across the line. And it's going to be P8. Ooh, that is close. We are going to be closely into Q3. We might actually get knocked out here. Hulkenberg, what's it going to be? He's gone, ooh, a little bit faster. Not too much. We're P8, P9. P9, P10. Ah, Hulkenberg might get knocked out. They set the same exact lap time. Wow, okay, they're very equally matched. Raikkonen, though, in the Sauber. He's looking pretty pretty. Could he knock us out, maybe? We'll see. We've got one minute to go. This is going to be very, very close. On the cusp of making the top 10 shootout here. So, I joked about McLaren losing pace into Dubai. We've lost some pace here, clearly, because we're P9, P10. But we make it through, thankfully, just about. But um, I think we might only be in P9 and P10 for the uh, for, for Q3 now, to be honest. But Stroll, Raikkonen, Kvyat, Magnussen, and Sainz out then. And so we remain one racing point car, one rich energy has, and then obviously both Red Bull, Ferrari, and Mercedes guys. No surprise there. Right, take qualifying, and let's see how we do. Now, I'm going to set one time on a scrub set, which is going to be this set here, because I want to save these two fresh sets for the race, because I just don't know what the race strategy is going to be like, so I want to keep my options very open here. So I'll set one time on this scrub set, just to give us a bank of lap time. Right, across the line, obviously, there no one's really yet to set too many times, but Vettel goes 1.4 faster than us, so definitely the scrub set's not the one. I expected us to be slow, but to be fair, Ricardo's actually gone faster than the Haas on the scrub set, to be fair, so it's not all doom and gloom. But now we'll move down to P8 and P10. But surprisingly, actually, Ricardo's now got way quicker in Q3. I mean, not surprising. He's the better driver on paper. But um, after Q1, I thought it'd be something different. But we're going to wait for the track grip to... Actually, it's going to pretty much remain the same highness. It's not going to go any higher. So we're going to go out straight away. New set now. New set now. Right, final lap. But you know what? I'm going to wait a little bit for Hulkenberg. Going to wait a little bit. Now I'm going to send him out. Right, there we go, boys. Your what? Your last lap in Q3. Let's make it a good one. Let's try and see if we can maybe pip that Force Indy car. I'm going to keep saying Force Indy, even though they're not Force India anymore. But I'm going to try and pip that Racing Point car and P7 Perez if we can with Ricardo or Hulkenberg, you know. Let's see. Is it going to be a green? Ah, uh, white first sector for Ricardo. What's it going to be for Hulkenberg? Green? Green for Hulkenberg. Two whites. So he's not gone better. Across the line on a fresher set of tyres, he's gone slower. Okay, Hulkenberg, what's up with that? Meanwhile, Hulkenberg's gone green. So let's see. Cross the line. And he will get P8. And we'll pit Ricardo. P8, P9. Surprised, though, they didn't gain that much time then on the new tyres versus the scrub set. But fair enough. It looks like that's just where our car is. As Perez sets in a banging lap time to get up into P6 ahead of Pierre Gasly in the Red Bull car. Fair enough. And Leclerc snatches pole, though. It was looking... It was it was a 1-2 for Mercedes in Q2, but now it's a 1-2 for Ferrari. So, in a flick of the switch in the top 10 shootout, Ferrari have turned out to be the faster car, whereas uh, Mercedes looked way more comfortable in Q1 and Q2. Surprising. But we finish up in P8 and P9, though. So, not as good as last time, but, you know, I'll still take it. I think, you know, we clearly still have work to do. We're 1.5 off pole position, so... You know, we definitely have a lot of work to do, but, you know, still, we're just, we're in that phase where we're just trying to get best of the rest, really, which is P7 at the end of the day. Right, race time. Let's have a look then at this strategy and see what we're going to be on. Right, we're locked into the super softs, um, and I can't see what my, right, cool, um, cheers. I can't, I can't, 
I can't think of a strategy because I can't even see what the tires would go to. So we're going to have to do this on the fly then. Um, in that case, I don't know what knowledge I'm going to need. This is annoying. I That's how I did my strategy. I would see how long the tires would go. I should have done that in practice now. That's something I need to note down. Practice. I need to have a look at what the tires go. Right. Um, how long is the race? 40 laps. I'm going to assume these tires only go 8 laps. So if they do, let's say the softs go 10 to, 10 to 11. Maybe. Or 12. Let's say 12. So they go 24 apiece. We probably need 3 sets of softs then. Three, 3 sets of softs. Because we go 20, 30... 30, 39, yeah, maybe three sets, or two sets of super softs and two sets of softs. I think we'll be on the soft half for longer, though, this race. I'm going to take that gamble and say that's that's going to be what we're going to be on for longer. So we'll go for soft half, race trim, car setups, obviously we have to be fixed, attack mode, and we go into the unknown then, once again. Right, so here we go then, for the second time in 2019, we go to five red lights to the Dubai Grand Prix. Five lights are out, one the way, it's a stonking start there for Hulkenberg. Hang on, let's have a look there, P5, four! Oh my god, what? What? What have I just seen? Hulkenberg, man, you're up into, you're nearly attacking first place here. What are you on? Meanwhile, Ricardo's struggling for P6. But uh, it's a slow start there from Gasoline. Hamilton's bottled it. He's down to P9, Hamilton is. He's really bottled it. Right, Ricardo down to P8. But Hulkenberg is pressurizing Leclerc for first place. What on earth has just gone on there? What on earth am I witnessing? That is crazy. What the hell? Okay. Uh, interesting. Right, let me quickly look now at the tire situation. Ooh, they go 15 laps. That's not bad. How long do these go? 11 laps. Okay, so we go, let's say we go 10 at max, and then we go for uh, 16 and 16. We're at 42 laps there. We should be able to make a two-stop work then on two sets of softs. So I was correct to decide to go on soft tire knowledge because that will be the tire we run on for longer. Right now, I'm going to continue to push Leclerc with Hulkenberg because we have a good thing going here. With Ricardo, I'm going to go neutral and play this a little bit of a longer game here and try and conserve these tyres. But with Hulkenberg, I'm going to pressurise Leclerc and try and keep up with these top lads as long as we can, really, because Verstappen is closing in rapidly in that Red Bull car. All right, sit rep on lap five. We're still second place. Ricardo's P7. Uh, we've now got Bottas is the one chasing us. Hamilton is recovered to P6. Um, but at the moment, we're looking pretty good. They use a bit of ERS there. That's fine, because they're not really closing. Oh, okay, no. Our automatics kicked in a little bit, so we did some defensive work there automatically to defend against Bottas with Holcomo there. So he's maintaining P2. There's a 7.4 gap, though, to Vettel, so he's walking away from it. Um, did I say Leclerc was in first place that entire time, even though it was Vettel? I might have got that wrong. Anyway, there was a Ferrari in first place. We're still second. Now we're not. We've just missed the overtake. Bottas just done us. We're down to P3. That's fine though. I'm still in the I'm still in a podium position right now, which is pretty crazy to say. Ricardo's doing a much better job on tire wear, of course, because I'm pushing Hulkenberg. But Ricardo's got some good pace still, saying that. Right, I'm gonna attack with Hulkenberg right now. I'm gonna start pushing on because I'm gonna come in for an earlier stop on lap nine, I think. Right, I'm gonna come in in this lap for Hulkenberg. Gonna go to soft tires. Park condition is fine. Gonna recharge the battery. Gonna go for 100 percent We'll go for the balance pit stop though. I'm going to use the charge on the back straight as we come through here onto this little kink there. Use most of it. Go, go, go. And we'll come in on this lap. So use all the charge there. Lovely stuff. Go and auto. Come in now for the pit stop. Right. Hopefully no mistake here. Vettel's using some charge there. Right, we're in. Pit stop. No mistake. All good. Comes out in P10. Looking good. Right. We'll go pushing in medium because we really need to save fuel now because we're minus 1.5 and for ricardo we're continuing on though for maybe one more lap here gonna really stretch these tires out we're actually you know what let's attack now actually let's just come in now use all of that on the exit here pit in catch up to p4 part addition soft recharge battery 100 pit strategy let's go for a fast let's risk it fast pit stop here let's close up we're actually gonna overtake hamilton here Going around the outside of Lewis Hamilton. Up into P4 there on the in-lap there. Good stuff from Ricardo. Right, we're in. We're in. Right, good pit stop here, please. Yep, no mistake. No mistake. Good stuff. We're out in P11. Behind Hulkenberg, obviously, but 
Looking pretty okay. Right, so a P6 and P10. Bottas is pit. He's come out ahead of us, which is to be expected. We need to conserve the tyres a little bit now. Uh, for Ricardo, we'll push on a little bit more, I think, because he's got some tyre temperatures to work with. But Hulkenberg, for now, I don't know where we are, really, in all this. I think we're still P3, because Vettel's there, P2. Bottas P... Uh, Vet, well, Vettel's in a net P1. Bottas a net P2. I hopefully should be in a net P3. Let's see. As we go through, cross the line, where's Verstappen? There, yeah, we're still in P3. This is looking good. This is looking very good for us. The only thing is, everyone pit a lot later than us. Verstappen's on supers, actually. So they're going very aggressive on that strategy. Right, it's lap 16. P3. We've got a uh, quite a large gap to P2. We've got a five-second gap to Raikkonen on worn mediums. Um, I'm pretty sure he's probably stayed out. He's not made a pit stop yet, Raikkonen. So he's trying a very audacious long stint in the, in the Sauber. And he's actually holding up Verstappen quite nicely. And this entire train, really, of Leclerc and Hamilton. Because Ricardo's gaining on them. So, this is looking pretty good. For now, Ricardo's got a little bit more fuel left to play around with. with Hulk. Both of them are minus. But Ricardo's got less fuel to save later on this race. So, he's looking pretty handy here. But right now, Hulkenberg is the main man flying the flag in a pretty ridiculous P3 still. After that insane start. I still don't know how he did that. He went from P8 to... P2 in one lap, but that was madness. Right, sit rep lap 21, about four laps till we make our pit stop, maybe. We're still okay for P3. Verstappen, though, is now two seconds behind us, so he has been catching us, but uh, he's obviously on supers, but his tire wear is excellent. His tire wear is crazy. He's on 55% tire wear. He's been on super softs the entire time. He pit like two laps after me, but still, that's pretty crazy tire wear. So the Red Bull looking very good. I think we might lose P3, inevitable. But I think I'm pretty confident we could maybe challenge Hamilton here. Because he's on the same strategy as us. So he doesn't have an advantage right now of speed. Compared to Verstappen who is coming out at a rate of knots here on Supersoft. So never know. We've got three laps to our pit stop window. Ricardo, he's not making much leeway on Leclerc on mediums there. And he's also got just nearly an, almost the same tyre as Hulkenberg to be honest. So I don't really know how to play this. He's got some fuel though to play with. So let's go with our high mode actually and try and push on with some fuel and try and catch Leclerc that way. Uh, but at the moment, it's looking pretty comfortable for Vettel to win this, maybe, in Bottas second. It's about, though, this battle for P3, P4, P5, and then P6 and 7, respectively, because uh, Perez, I think, should be comfortably in our back pocket with Ricardo there, seven seconds off. It's really just about this fight here, as we've now got, apparently, worn tyres for Ricardo. Uh, that's fine. Don't need to worry about that for now. It's still going on. Right, watch this fight. Verstappen's getting very, very close to us now. We're on 22% wear. We're losing a bit of pace here. I think it's time to push because we've got one more lap left on these tyres. Or maybe not. Maybe Verstappen's going to come for us right now. It's close. We're going to defend. We're going to stick this out for one more lap maybe. Hamilton's coming through as well. Is it worth for us? I think we're already losing too much pace maybe on 20% worn. I think we should probably come in. Let's use a burst of ERS and come in on this lap for softs. Car condition's fine. Recharge that. Fast pit stop. Let's come in now. Use the ERS into the pit stop. Right. Auto. Ricardo, let's push on with you, mate. And go on for one more lap. Right. Hulkenberg. Ah, mistake on the front jack for Hulkenberg there. So he's lost 1.2 seconds. Let's use some uh, ERS there. We'll go on high and neutral. Right. Ricardo, use all your ERS here, mate. Let's pit in. Soft tires, park condition's fine. Recharge 100%. And we'll go for the... You know what, let's risk it again. Fast pit stop, let's go. Right, Ricardo gains two seconds there, pushing in. So that's a good in-lap. So let's hope there's no mistake on the pit stop. Comes in. Looking good, looking good. Right, he comes out where? Auto, medium, pushing. He comes out P10, Hulkamer, P5. Okay, looking okay. Right, both going to save fuel now on medium. Ricardo push those tires a little bit, then go neutral. Right, Hamilton's pit and he's come out behind Ricardo, so he really did not have a good stint there. Um, on that, on that, on on that. Uh, what was it? This soft soft tire? Yeah, he went soft tire, so he really did not have a good stint. Let's use a bit of ERS here. Stay ahead, stay ahead. Get ahead of uh, Raikkonen if we can. That'd be ideal. Come on, push ahead of Raikkonen. Push ahead of Raikkonen. Go, go, go. On the exit. Let's use high. Let's get ahead of Raikkonen. Stay ahead of him. Hamilton will come and overtake him. Ricardo, stay put, though. Stay put, mate. Stay put. Ooh, Raikkonen comes through. Right, let's use overtake mode. Let's try and catch up to this car ahead of us and get ahead of him first. No, Hamilton overtakes us. Hamilton down the inside of both cars there. 
So we've overtaken the Force India though. So let's get ahead of him, please. Come on, push on. Get ahead around the outside. Come on, Ricardo. You need to stay ahead of Stroll. You need to stay ahead of Stroll. You've not done that. And now I can't push too much. Meanwhile, Hulkenberg, P3. Already 77% 77 worn though. Jesus. I think we'll lose P4 to Verstappen. There's no, there's no question about it. I think we're, I think we're racing for P4 today with Hulkenberg. Although I say that, we've just defended quite well from Verstappen there. I fast forwarded a few laps here, and despite being on conserved tyre wear, I am actually keeping Verstappen at bay at, a, at an arm's length. That is pretty crazy, actually. Uh, meanwhile, for Ricardo, you can push on. You've got some fuel now to burn. Let's go conserve though, because I don't know about your tyre wear. Yours is worse than Hulkenberg's. Oh, mechanical failure for George Russell again. Another Williams failure there. Big, big amount of smoke there. That is dramatic as hell. That's the most dramatic kind of DNF I'm seeing there. Mechanical failure. This is going on like a full animation. Is he, he going to park up eventually? I don't know. He's going very slowly. We're catching up, though. We're catching up to that pile of smoke. This is going to be interesting. Um, is this going to affect us? Is, uh, oh, Hamilton goes down the inside. He's overtaken us. But now he gets slowed down by George Russell. We're going to get slowed down. We can nip down the inside there. Very interesting. I think that... Oh, well, Hamilton was already had enough pace there to overtake us. So, fair play. Right, well, five laps remaining. I need to make sure I protect these tyres. We're down to P4, though. It's actually Hamilton that overt uh, overtook us, not Verstappen. He's in P5. Ricardo, where is he? He's P7. Is he catching Leclerc? Not really. That's where Leclerc is. No, he's not really catching. So, Ricardo, I think he's settling down for P7 in this race. Uh, me and we've got a lot of fuel. Jesus, we've got a lot of fuel because of that. Right, um, let's burn that. Let's let's use that. Right, three laps remaining. We've got a lot of fuel for Ricardo, so we're just burning it all and pushing on. Three laps remaining might go neutral here with him. We're looking good. Hulkenberg, he's P4, 25% wear, and he's only just ahead of Verstappen and Leclerc. This is going to be testing times, to be honest, for him. Very testing times. Verstappen's on backup, or he was. Leclerc's on backup, so let's go back up with... Right, Verstappen's actually going to pit here. Verstappen's going to pit with two laps to go. He's making a late pit stop. We're going to continue on. I feel like we could still get to the end of this race. I think we can get to the end on 16% wear. Let's keep on going. Keep on going. Hamilton's pit. So we're back over to P3. Hamilton's coming at a rate of knots in P4. Ricardo's looking okay, actually. Ricardo's looking better at the two. He's on overtake mode. He's got a whole load of fuel. 19% wear. He even might overtake Hulkenberg here if we fall off the cliff massively. Last lap of the Grand Prix then. Hamilton is going to overtake us across the line onto the last lap. He's down the inside. He sets the fast lap of the Grand Prix. But we actually fight him a little bit, to be fair. Look at that. We gave him a little bit of a fight. No, now we're down in P4. We're 8% where we're P4. Ricardo might actually catch us here last minute on lap 5 here. But this is going to be a very good result. Thank you very much, Verstappen and Leclerc. Both of them pit last minute. Both of them are on fresh super softs, P6 and P P8. So thank you very much. It's because of them we have crossed the line and we have finished P4 with Hulkenberg and P5 with Ricardo. Fantastic strategy then. We, we, we stuck to our guns. We risked it for a chocolate biscuit and it's worked out. Verstappen and Leclerc with a late pit stop there. Last race winners did not do a good job. And actually Vettel bottled it as well. Both Ferraris bottled it. Because Vettel was in first place by a mile. But Bottas now is the one that won that Grand Prix. Because of a late pit stop for Vettel as well. So all in all. I can't complain. That's been a very good race for us. Solid. That's actually better than last race. And I thought last race was very good. So 12 and 10 points. So driver championship wise. Our guys are sitting P5 and P7. Pretty good. And constructors. We are still ahead of Red Bull Racing here. So we are actually looking very good. To challenge for the third spot potentially here. If Red Bull don't pull up their socks a little bit there. It's a close fight between Mercedes and Ferrari, and uh, there's a bit of a gulf then. So actually, we are in this kind of top four fight, or I guess two-man fight between Renault and Aston Martin Red Bull Racing after they divorce Renault. But very good second round there. Cannot complain. Very good strategy in the end of it, actually. So be sure to hit that like button, guys, if you did enjoy that one. That was a very close, tense ending there, but we made it work. I thought genuinely Ricardo might have overtaken Hulkenberg at the end on the last lap, but he did not. So what do you know? But let me know uh, what you thought in the comments below. If you're new around, you can subscribe for weekly Formula 1 content. We've got some new traits here, just new relationship with mechanic. Top 5 result, more marketability added on, so that's always good. 1.8 million in the back, so that has been episode 2. And if you are new around here, you can subscribe for weekly full-on content. But guys, I'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.